Good morning, beautiful Sagittariuses. I've got my coffee with my Saggy crew. Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm feeling a lot of different energies around you. But the song that keeps going through my head is Rod Stewart singing, uh, You're in my heart, you're in my soul. You'll be my breath, shall I grow old? You are my lover, you're my best friend. You're in my soul. That's what I'm hearing, Sag. So somebody is definitely in your energy. Hmm. Kwan Yin Oracle for Sagittarius. What message do you have for Sag? I got to read from the book on this one, guys. So just know that. Sagittarius, thank you guys so much for all your subscriptions, your likes, and your comments. It, it's truly a blessing. Thank you so much, Sag. Message. Mm, this one, too. Turquoise Lotus Mother and Many Hands of the Goddess. Mm. Sagittarius, the Book of Changes. <laughs> We're talking about the many hands of the goddess. The goddess Kuan Yin brings blessings to multiple projects in many different parts of your life and consciousness, beloved. She is not limited to one task at a time. Do not be afraid to surrender into her guiding wisdom and creative genius now, Saj, for uh, there is much that you can accomplish together and she wants to assist you. So many hands are here helping. These are helping hands, Sagittarius. You might be on multiple projects. The Turquoise Lotus Mother. Hmm. Says, the Turquoise Lotus Mother brings precious healing to you now. Allow yourself to be lifted out of your struggle, beloved one. An old pattern is finally in its death throes. Something that weighed heavily on you from the past. Mm. This can be one of the most testing times to allow something to go. Just when it seems to be demanding of your time, your focus and your attention, yet do not doubt you have actually learned the lessons required of you and now you're being blessed with opportunities and receiving karmic healing sag the book of changes i gotta read that one 35 how fitting is this just like a beautiful but unusual melody, the divine plan is unfolding through your life, although it isn't always predictable. Quan Yin is guiding you to the right direction, even if you do not fully understand what is happening in your life right now. Allow Quan Yin to bless, to bless you with trust in the unfoldment of your own divine path. The book of changes is always at play, helping you find your, our way. You are just taking a smarter route to your destination. Oh, Jesus. Sagis. So you could have been really working hard on something, multiple things going on in your life at the same time. Helping hands is being sent to you. The book of changes. Oh my God, immortal treasures. Sagittarius, it's like working smarter, not harder. Mul being able to multitask. Geez, Sag, it's like good karma being sent to you. Uh, these are blessings, treasures. Just trust the plan. Wow, many hands of the goddess. Sag. 
it's like things are getting easier for you. Sagittarius, let go of the past. Let go of what was keeping you stuck. A year from now, something is happening in your life. You are ready. A year from now. Hmm. Hmm. Let go. Forgiveness is here. So, something you've been working on, Sagittarius, you're going to have a huge success. You're a success. Listen to your intuition. Something you're working on, within a year, you could be seeing a huge success in all your work projects. It's like you're being divinely guided. Now, it already could have been a year. Trust that. It could have been a year or within a year. Something huge is coming in, Sagittarius. What's going on? Huh. Unconditional love. Loyalty, sincerity, and unconditional love. Hmm. You're being divinely protected here. Hmm. Damn, Sag. Someone's perception has restricted them somehow. I told you all they can focus in on is love. Damn. You may, Sagittarius, you may, holy crap. You're in my heart. I know it's somebody else's energy pulling on your energy. Jeez. Let's find out, Sag, what's going on for the beautiful Sagis. Unconditional love is here. Within a year, you're going to see a huge success in your work projects. But I know darn well all this person is thinking about. Yeah, Burdens is here like twice, man. For this King of Wands, it is the Strength card. We're talking about... The Wheel of Fortune, Karma. Saj, so I have three different decks, completely different, all saying the, pretty much the same thing. Something is weighing this King of Wands down. They're getting some karma. You are getting good karma. What is this? The moon. It's about a misinterpretation, a perception, misinterpreting. This person loves you. There is someone around you in love with you. Now, this could be you loving yourself, and these could be new beginnings for Saj. Uh, creative projects, ideas. I mean, what's going on? You're in my heart. You're in my soul. You'll be my breath, shall I grow old. You are my lover, you're my best friend. You're in my soul. Yeah. What the hell? So. Why are they so heavily burdened and why is there revenge here? Learning a lesson, Hierophant, what the hell? You're, you're in my heart, you're in my soul. The Two of Cups, you'll be my breath, shall I grow old? You are my lover, you're my best friend, you're in my soul. That is a soulmate connection with the temperance. Now, What the hell is this revenge all about? I want to clarify that. Oh, this person. So somebody said something, communicated something to this person. They're very vengeful. Uh, I'm going to clarify this, Sag. Hmm. I don't know if I want this deck. Let's try it. What is this vengeance all about? Who wants vengeance? 
people jealous of your relationship. It's someone very vengeful. It's like, what did that say? Misinterpreted some kind of, it's about perception, the way somebody was viewing something or viewing you. Someone spoke something to this person. They were being very vengeful. Clarify uh, this vengeance. What the hell, Sag? What is this vengeance all about here, Spirit? Destiny. Success. Healing, wishing, mm. huh. collaboration. What's this revenge? Hmm. That's what caused this person to hold back. Confusing them. See, it's misinterpreting something. Somebody has misinterpreted something that you have said. It caused this person to be confused. It's about the somebody's perception here. It is. Words. Communications. The world. What's this revenge all about? Who said what to whom? The Hierophant. Higher learning ascension. What's going on? You are my lover. You're my best friend. You're in my soul. What about it? <laughs> that this person sees you as wish fulfillment, wants to come toward you. There's too many fond memories. This is past. Huh. Opportunities. What's about this? Learn something. Learning. Spying. Spying on you. They're watching you succeed. They're watching your success. And it is burdening them. Mm. People at work. People at work? Why is there sadness? Why is there regret? Why is... See? This person is seeing you succeed. They're seeing you celebrate. They're seeing you... Whoa, whatever you're working on. These could be your work projects. You're having a victory. You're celebrating a, a beautiful opportunity here, Sag. This person is watching you. And you've let something go. It's this person who is heavily, like, I know you were heavily burdened, Sagittarius, and I know darned well that you've gone through a painful cycle, but this is getting weird. You walked away. Now, you could have been in a karmic cycle, but it could be this person walking away. There is some... Um, What the hell is this? I don't know. It's the wheel again. Karmic cycle. So Saj. This person... <coughs> Stop giving to you because of things that other people were saying. Karmics all around this person. Karmic friends, co-workers, I don't know. It is about perception, the way they were perceiving you. 
you've got the wheel of fortune bringing you in all this success man oh yeah look at you stable solid this person is thinking i told you you're in my heart you're in my soul you'll be my breath shall i grow old you are my lover you're my best friend you're in my soul it's unconditional love someone's watching a huge huge change in Sagittarius they were the misjudging you misinterpreting you people were misinterpreting your actions your words confusing this person they were around karmic energies they may have become karmic in so doing you walked away Geez, Sag, whoa, Sagittarius, listen to your intuition, immortal treasures, communications, jeez, that's unconditional love, told you this person has been exposed, now they were a, a lot around a lot of deception they could have been very deceptive sagittarius but they've been exposed they were karmic in nature they were around karmic energies who were buzzing in this person's ear and you walked away you trusted your intuition damn look at your glow up you could be multitasking you know what i mean many hands you may have been working really hard like building your future sagittarius you could have been at work in your ass off and this person may have interpreted your work as indecision people could have been telling this person oh Sagittarius is always working Sagittarius doesn't have time for you Sag maybe this person was thinking that I just see you working your ass off for financial gain for the future so you could celebrate a solid foundation Sagittarius people were working against this person's mind this person loved you unconditionally but people were confusing this person tricking this person damn such hmm. hmm. told you They were competing with you, Saj. People were putting roadblocks and obstacles up in this relationship. It was over, it was over financial wealth. It was over money. Could have been this person's friend group, their family group. Hmm. They were karmic. They had greed in mind, Saj. Here you are getting the Ten of Pentacles all on your own, plus the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you were working hard on a goal. You were working hard on a dream. You could be purchasing a new house or some real estate. Sagittarius, you're on a major glow up. You could have your hands in many different areas. You could have been multitasking. Like, Sagittarius's are natural go-getters. I mean, a true Sag is. They have the skills and the ability to multitask. 
you could have been loving this person unconditionally you could have been working your ass off you could have been focusing in on your retirement your future gaining real estate man look at you go now since you walked away from these people this person you listened to your intuition you started loving on you you know Wow, are you ever good at something here, Sag? Whatever you do for your work, you are an incredibly hard, hard worker. You love unconditionally, Sagittarius. You love people around you. You love to work hard. You love to, in spirit sing. Now you can work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Maybe before in your past you were like doing physical labor or something like that. You trusted your own intuition. I don't know. Whatever you're doing for your work, your investments. Oh, Jesus, Sag. Yeah, you've made the decision. And this person sitting here, see all these people trying to confuse them. Oh, Sagittarius really isn't at work. Sagittarius you know, maybe Sag will be staying at this grunt labor job their whole life. How can they provide any stability, putting thoughts in this person's head? Nah. Don't underestimate a good Sag. I'm telling you, Sagis are hard workers. Boom. That's what happened. They allowed other people's thoughts to influence their opinion of you, Sagittarius. These were karmic friends, karmic people around this person, confusing them, putting shit and ideas in their head. Sagittarius will never amount to much. I mean, Sagittarius is a hard worker, but they're never going to achieve anything substantial, wrong. <laughs> You work your ass off, Sag. You got creative projects going on all over the place. They judged you. They misjudged you, Sagittarius. You could have had uh, co-workers or people around who were influencing this person. Sagittarius, they were judging you. They were judging you. Here you are. You made a decision to be happy. Look at your glow up. Holy Jesus. In the spotlight. Getting attention. This could be public recognition. Celebrating. Damn. Good news. Exciting stuff happening in your life. You've moved forward confidently and you're reaching success beyond proportion. Look at this, being in the spotlight. Maybe you are a tarot card reader. Maybe you are an intuitive. Whatever you're doing with, you're multitasking. You know, Sagittarius has usually got their fingers in many different pies. They're very diversified. They can multitask. Jesus, Sag, and why is this person, see, look, put doubt and fear in this person's head, what the frick, it is the emperor now looking at your success, woo, look at you vibing high, queen of wands, High vibrational. That's what you were. You were vibing high. People don't like it. People around you were judging you, Sagittarius, because of your high vibrations. You know, people have a high opinion of you. You're very successful. You're cheerful. You probably love people unconditionally. And negative people say, like, why is Sag so happy all the time? Why is Sag always happy? I mean, they work their ass off, but they're able to multitask. That's what 
these people didn't realize about you. They just saw you, you know, at the grind every day. They don't realize that Sagittarius, Sagittarius is intelligent. They misjudged you. They were judging you. The people around this person and this person misjudging you. Ah, oh, they misjudged how powerful you are. And now this person's looking back at you and they're like, what the hell just happened to Sagittarius? <laughs> you became the empress. You are able to give birth to many multiple projects at one time. You are an awesome multitasker. You know, a lot of people can only pay attention to one little sector. Sagittarius's wheels are always turning all the time, thinking of creative ideas. Always, your minds are always on the go. <laughs> yeah. And quite honestly, you may have gotten bored waiting for this person. They put you on wait. They made you wait. Sagittarius's are go-getters. Vibrant, high energy, vibe and high. You can multitask. You can do many things at one time. It's like you are the, the immortal treasure. Okay, that's why immortal treasures are coming to you. You were able to love this person unconditionally. You were able to work your ass off, love your family, love, but your always wheels are always turning. How can I do this? How can I achieve this? You're a high achiever. <laughs> yeah. Move forward. I told you. Ideas start coming to you. You listen to those ideas. And that's why you are become this empress, masculine or feminine. High production. I'm hearing high production. Pump it out, Sag. Ideas, ideas come to you quickly. But you are not afraid to act on those ideas. That's why you're getting this great fortune, this immortal treasure. I told you you're smart. You're smart as a whip here, Sag. You're always thinking. Your wheels are always turning. How can I... You don't think um, selfishly either. You think for the higher good of all people involved. You're probably thinking, you know, how can we invest? How can we do this? How can we do that? And you're not afraid to do it all. For real. Hmm. A lot of time people steal your ideas, Sagittarius. They do. Huh. Yeah. This is your ideas alone. Now this person is, you know what? They misjudged you. Yes, they did. Presume and assume you make a fool out of you and me. And that's what this person did. Now they're looking at how to balance things out with you. How to speak to you. Communicate. King of Wands. Hmm sitting here stressed the hell out i don't know they were listening Ooh. Hmm. listening to immature people damn see your ideas are creative they're on fire you're not just able to take this idea these ideas there are many of them your wheels are turning. How can I, how can I work smarter, not harder? How can I invest? How can I invest for my future? How can I do this for the benefit of everyone around me? How your wheels are going crazy. Your ideas, your projects. Hmm. Somebody could have taken your ideas as well, Sagittarius, for their own good. Protect your ideas. Yeah, because this person is now, see, this person was thinking, you know, you're really not going to amount to much Sagittarius. That's what they were thinking. 
That's why they hurt you. Money? For real? <laughs> That's why they're the two pentacles now. They went chasing coin. They went running after coin. You know, when you chase after coin, it gets further and further away from you. Why? Because they didn't have the higher good of all people involved. They allowed family to confuse them. Family is what caused this breakup. A ten of cups situation. See, they thought that they were the king of pentacles. Okay? And maybe at one time that they were the king of pentacles. But they went chasing after moolah. That's what they did. But they listened to deceptive people. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Selfish gain. That's what they didn't know. They didn't see how balanced out you were. That's what caused this breakup. Now this person's mask has fallen off. They were manipulating. Dragging their ass. Moving too slow. That's what caused this tower. So they went chasing coin, chasing people who they thought were more wealthy. For real. Hello. Foolish. Weren't thinking. Thinking that third parties are friends. Yeah. You trusted your intuition, Sagittarius. And now they want, you're, they're still in your heart. You're in your soul. You'll be my breath, shall I grow old? You are my lover, you're my best friend, you're in my soul. They didn't know this was a soul connection, yet their instincts told them it was. Confident. Single, entrepreneurial energy. Hmm. For real, for real. Damn. Now they're thinking they want to reconcile with their soul mate. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Emperor, Empress. What did they think? You know? You are my lover. You're my best friend. You're in my soul. You are my best friend. You are my lover. You're my best friend. You're in my soul so it doesn't matter anyway Sagittarius it don't matter anyway this person you're going to have multiple 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 people they can't compare to Sagittarius they're never fulfilled you were their lover they're, they're like when pigs fly, well, when pigs fly, Sagittarius will never, um, you know, I can manipulate, I can move slow, you know, Sagittarius will never leave me. What the hell were they thinking? They misjudged Sag. Damn, they were always leaving you, like, as a non-priority. Everybody else was a priority. Everything else was a priority. You know why this person doesn't know how to multitask? No, they don't. They might think that they do. They don't know how. 
They took on too many projects. They took on too much. They can be like Sag. Sagittarius has the gift of multitasking. Sagittarius can work their ass off. They can take care of their kids, their homes, their families, business opportunities. That's why you're a success. You have the gift. What that commercial used to say on TV it says, I can bring home the bacon, fry it up in a pan. Never, never let you forget your a man, cause I'm a woman. Sag knows how to do it all. Whether you're a masculine or whether you're a feminine, if you're a true Sag, you got you, you can multitask, man. You have the gift. It's just like you have so much get up and go, probably on the job. You're probably one of their best workers. Race home, clean the house, take care of your bills, your responsibilities. Still, you use your creative talents to produce your money. Love people unconditionally. You're a helper. <laughs> hands everywhere helping your friends helping your family helping yourself helping people at the job work your ass off still come home where do you get your energy where do you get your energy you are vibing high sagittarius and this person is shocked the hell out of them your glow up i am going to say sag when you were with this person most of your time and energy went into this individual and when they left your life or you left their life you put that time and energy into yourself. A lot of you Sagittarians who are saying to me, Frankie, I don't have success yet. I don't have this. I don't have that. You're thinking negatively and you've got to switch your mindset to say, I am made of gold. You are the Midas touch. Jesus, Sag. <laughs> Sag. You shocked the shit out of this person. I'm going to be real. They misjudged you. They didn't know how multi-talented you really were. No one can compare to you. So this person could be old, old and gray. They would have, their asses would have been looked after there till the day that they died. Had they invested in Sagittarius, they wouldn't have had a care in the world. Because Saggy's a go-getter. Saggy multitasks. Saggy does it all. You're my lover. You're my best friend. You're in my soul. That's why they can't forget you. They're like, when pigs fly, no, not Sag. Not Sag, all these people are saying Sag will never amount to much. Yeah, Sag is a hard worker, but they have limited income. They have limited funds. They have limited resources. Well, I could do better with someone else. Hmm. Really like how the universe turns tables on people who prejudge Sag. You have immortal treasures. <laughs> That's why this person wants to talk to you, Sagittarius. They're watching you. Whatever you're doing, they are watching you. I don't know how they're watching you, Sag. They're making it their business to find out about you. All these fake-ass friends of theirs making it their business as well. It's probably how they know. Fake house friends. <clears throat> Misjudging my Saggies. <laughs> uh, they underestimated my beautiful Saggies. 
And the Sagis do... They got the shine, man. <laughs> this person restricts their thoughts. People perceiving you. You know? They are limited thinking. Your ideas, your thinking is unlimited. You're not afraid to step outside the box, Sag. Look how limited their belief system was. It's how they were perceiving things. How they were restricting themselves and couldn't focus. Listening to other damn ass people. This person should have believed in you, man. You love them unconditionally. You would have accepted this person with or without money. You just would have worked harder. <laughs> That's all. They don't know Sagittarius's very well. I'm just saying. No. A true Sag. I'm not talking about pretend wannabe Sagis. I am talking about the true authentic Sagittarian energies. You don't even have to be Sagittarius to do that for real the book of changes <laughs> i love it saji you keep rocking on man you're one of a kind and never forget it happy sunday sag